about to hit the road on her nationwide tour, Whispers from Above. Please welcome back to the cafe, psychic medium, Melissa Mills. Yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's been a while since we had you on the show, isn't it? What have you been up to? Well, as promised last year, I said I was going to do a nationwide tour, and that's what I've been doing is planning that. I'm going all around the country and eventually um, heading over to Australia and America. And... Um, I've been working on a new phenomena. Yes, and you Ooh. talked about that with Holly before, the spiritual hug. How did you, you know, come across this? In a, in a training uh, session, probably about two years ago, and I've just kind of been too scared within myself to have the confidence to, to do this. And one of my girlfriends just said, Melissa, you need to do it. This will change people's lives. And she said, you're really selfish to hog this all to yourself. So I said, Okay, so I've plucked up the courage and I'm now bringing this to my audiences and everyone who's had one has said how genuinely it was their loved one, how life-changing it was, and there's no greater gift I can offer. Oh, no, truly quite remarkable. And Mel, you just had one earlier before. I did. While the advertorial was on. <laughs> so let's take a quick look at what happened. So I want a hug from John Homer, who's my dad. All right, so just give me a moment. He loves you so much. <laughs> that was cool. That was very cool. <laughs> I've got lipstick on here, I'm oh. sorry. <laughs> did it feel like him? Yeah, it did. Yeah. Wow, that was truly something special. Remarkable. How that was do you amazing. Feel? It was amazing. It was incredible. It was just, it was phenomenal. You're right, it's like a really warm, it definitely was dad. It was, it was mine, I can't really describe it, but it was like being enveloped and, and my dad. Melissa, I can feel the emotion in the room. I guess that's what happens when you do the shows and you do this. Yeah, so I don't, that's not all I do in the show. So I still do my normal mediumship where I'm um, bringing in uh, people's loved ones, passing on messages, but I want to, to bring mediumship forward. Um, I want to bring that connection um, so that it's as close as we can get it. And so I'm all about bridging the gap. And so having this new phenomena mm. that I'm able to, to bring through is as you saw, mm. it's incredible, and to heal people and just, oh, there's nothing, I can't describe it. So how is it different to doing like a reading for someone, doing the spiritual hug for you? Um, I'm not, how can I explain it? I'm still kind of there, but it's genuinely the loved one kind of just takes over, and words don't need to describe it, you feel the emotion and, and everything like that, so... It can go hand in hand. That's eventually what I'll do, but I want to save them for the tour at this stage. Yeah. When you feel that spirit, you know, and that emotion and that hug, are the ones that we're communicating with talking to you, or is it just pure emotion that you're feeling? And when I do the hug, it is purely just um, the guiding me into the movements that right. they want to do, and every hug is completely different, and you know, the mannerisms and and just everything is so unique to that person. Um, so yeah. yeah, I've done a fair few now. So we were getting Dad not when he was grumpy at me when I was a teenager for not doing what he said. Yeah, we're getting Dad loves me now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and you've That's got a lucky. new look. You are taking you know psychic medium to a new level, really, because you've got this journal you've been working on I as well. So do. tell us about that. So I've got this um, Whispers from Above journal that I co-created with my tour manager Natalie Brown, and so you can definitely yeah. have a look. So it's the first of its kind. It's to help people at home connect 
connect with their loved ones. So there's a whole heap of things in there, like Q and A's you can do with your loved ones, colouring in, um, because that's really good for meditation. It's got memories and notes, so as you learn to develop that relationship, you can write about it. It's got little um, reminders here. It's me you sense around you, so it's you know just to remind you that they're there. So it's a, a really beautiful journal, it's a great beautiful. keepsake. Spirit doodle page. Yeah. So if you're inspired to do some drawing. Do you think people, Melissa, now, you know, because it's a crazy old world that we're living in mm -hmm. at the moment, uh, do you find that people are looking to connect with their loved ones a lot more than they probably have in the past? Yeah, I definitely feel there's a need for connection on the whole with, with human beings because we don't tend to connect as much anyway mm. anymore. Um, but people are, are feeling lost, they're feeling stuck, they're grieving, you know, and being able to communicate with their loved ones to give them hope, to give them reassurance, that's what I love to do and there's definitely a need for that. Have you had a moment when you have been worried about who's coming through in you for these hugs, these spiritual hugs? Or? No, I fully trust that I'm very well looked after and the people that usually put their hand up are so desperate to hear from yeah. a loved one. <laughs> so yeah, it's always been really positive. So okay. we'll see. <laughs> yeah. So you've got quite a bit of the tour going. Is there any particular place that's more spiritual, uh, you know, in New Zealand than, than other places, or are you all fairly even? I'm really not sure. I haven't embarked on a national tour before. Right. So I'm going to so, I know, it's pretty major stuff. So I'm really keen to see what New yeah, Zealand you know, has that, to offer. That would be interesting. You can come back and report to us. What, what, I you would know, what love place to. Yeah, you think is the most spiritual, because that would be quite fascinating to know. Um, well done, taking it to the next level. Yeah. Thank you. That's so yeah. cool. Um, so you're going to America after this, you're saying? Well, Australia and America is the plan. Wow, oh, that's exciting. You'll be, the spiritual hug's going to be a big hit there. How many did you get through on a show? Like just I, I don't do a, a heck of a lot. I try to do maybe anywhere from four to six. Right, yeah, but so otherwise it'd be a bit exhausting for you, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a lot of energy to work with. Mm. Mm. Fun. Okay, nice work. Melissa is on her Whispers from Above tour starting tomorrow in Auckland. For more information, head along to her website. Thank you so much, Melissa. Yeah, thank no, you. You're welcome. Wonderful.